Better talk to rest. Hither! Oh, hither! Come, come! Sororicide awaits. Oh, master, master, master! You have come home to your royal dwelling. <laughs> but why did you exert yourself so getting here? I was waiting to open the door. Lady Odin told me to allow your passage, but if she hadn't, I would have been naughty and slipped you inside anyway. Yeah, I would have told you so, but didn't dream of interrupting when you were enjoying yourself so. Bashing the Hollyford's wormy trunk was a particularly refined deed. We are... Unfortunate bunkmates, as she refuses to leave your estate. Every day she kills me as I'm trying to beautify the temple for your return. Up to thrice, some days. Being killed by you is so much more pleasurable, Master. Ha! The temple is all tidied and ready for your worshipful act of mortal combat. The eye sockets of our graven god's icon are all polished up, ready to glow menacingly as you bludgeon your sister to death. <laughs> I've restacked every pile of skulls and mounted more skeletons on the walls for a cozy touch. A thousand succubi could give me no greater delight. There's a puddle of blood on the floor as you walk in. Careful, don't slip. This is a foul place. Better bear it. Already Boo is bristling, and not from the cold. I confess that the last time I came here, I thought it would be my tomb. You can see why. Wait to clear this place out. There will be much trading of threats and insults, no doubt. But Lynch will be ready when it is time for boots to meet butt. You and me both, pal. Truly. You have returned. Do you remember? You were the one who first fed me flesh. But Lady Orin does not let us feed as you did. Please. Kill her. Let us sate ourselves. Look, your savior approaches. <laughs> See how it crawls towards us. Not a dream now. No, no. It is blood and bone. Carrying the tyrant's rock. I said I'd leave the blood inside. Mm, but it smells sweet. And the blade was made to slice. It thinks it has control. <laughs> Flapping its lips. Squealing like a lamb on the spit. <gasps> you still don't remember, do you, Bloodkin? <laughs> How you screamed as my knife slit your skull. Your brain juices. Sticky and sweet. A little hole, big enough for the worm. Your body, a blood sack to feed it. The favorite of Baal turned meat puppet, strung up by the sinews and plucked by my hands. This is the truth you had forgotten. You were the favorite, the chosen. 
Orin was your subordinate. You led the cultists of Baal and orchestrated the absolute plot. It was your genius, your cruelty, your design. At your moment of greatest triumph, when all the pieces were in place, she betrayed you, infected you, and took your place. Husk, maggot, a ball spawn, slip sliding in filth with these pigs. You don't deserve the Murder Lord's blessing. My grandfather ruled this city, a slaughterhouse ripened for my blades, and you stole it! Enough, enough, enough! The runt must be cold. Come close, my death's heads, but keep your blades unblooded. Bar demands a Jew. He wants to taste my domination. An altar flowing with his own unwilling flesh. Draining, dying. Drip, drip, drip. You should have trained harder, master. Chosen one. <gasps> he is near. He comes for you.
gift from your god, your father, an offering of his affection for you, or confirmation that he owns you. to stand against your father, but you have fought this long against your nature. There might just be a way. Domination. Slaughter. Mountains of corpses. You standing atop them. You must destroy this world. It is what you were made for. For a moment, the brine pool of your brain clears. To die. To rest. To save the world from yourself. To accept. To become his prophet. In any disobedient subject to his lash. For the first time in over a century, silence falls over the Baal Temple. No chants, no screams, no prayers. In the end, your own death brought you more joy than any you wrought on this land. You are slipping into peaceful oblivion. But your journey is not over. Thou hast defied Baal, thy liege and father, and in doing so hast earned a place among champions and heroes. But alas, thy courage was in opposition to the divine cosmology that bound thee to the Lord of Murder. Thou art now faithless, godless and doomed to wander the Fugue Plain for eternity. I will not permit that, though all the powers of life and death dictate that it should be so. I too still hold some power, and I invest a portion of it in thee, who hath challenged the gods and now liveth to tell of it. Thy fight is not over, and it is thy fight. For one who can look upon Baal and oppose him can survive any crisis. So rise, challenger of gods, and prepare for battle once more. Death will not claim thee whilst I... There is no true rest for those like thee, Faithless. But when victory is won, I swear I shall find dear home. The sole way to atone for thine actions is to do better in a new dawn. That dawn 
has come. Baal tried to extinguish thee, but his wrath is imprecise. He only succeeded in killing the part of thee he knew. The urge that drove thee to terrible acts, the spark of brutality that made thee his. But there is a new part of you that hath grown during my travels. That part Baal could not extinguish, and so, instead of destroying thee, he hath made thee anew. You did it. You're free. I'm so God's damn proud of you. The heart of a savior hath overshadowed the mind of a murderer. Thou hast vanquished thine earth. If thou couldst recall in full every barbarity thou hast committed, every tragedy thou hast authored, wouldst thou truly want to? All their names are written. One day, if thou truly wishest, I will show thee, and we shall remember them. Today thou art born anew. A genuine pleasure to meet you again, my friend. <sighs> Minsk had his doubts about you, little slayer, but Boo had none. Greet the bloodless dawn, child of none. As it was, so it is again. A hero has risen from a legacy of death. Did... did you die? Am, am I dead? I don't like it here. I'm going home. This merits a celebration. You did what you had to do to get yourself right. To choose the life you wanted to live. Very fucking proud of you, darling. Seriously. Another ball spawn buried by our hand. Ball should learn better than to send his offspring against us. They might as well be babes. Dropped bare bottom into the Rashiman winter. Congratulations are in order. I fancied myself the sage advisor, sworn to guide you through what it means to be a child of Baal. And while I mulled on that solemn responsibility, you went and took care of it on your own. Well done. Truly. Well done indeed. Though now you will never see a god of death cower before a miniature giant space hamster. Every choice has a cost, I suppose. The path of a Baal spawn is not an easy one. Nor does it ever truly end. But you found your footing where so many before you have fallen. Wherever you lead from now, we will follow. I believe you have an appointment with a nether brain. Lead then. Nature's servant awaits. Baal below, this could be my old chamber. <laughs> 